What's up everybody, this is Danny and I'm doing something very cool today. I am here at a Dallas Mavericks game, but I'm here also to do a camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This is very highly requested. So let me know which microphone sounds better. Let me know which video looks better. And I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures and we're gonna see if the S20 Plus is a big upgrade over the S10 Plus. Let's do it. There is a new sensor in the Galaxy S20 and the S20 Plus this year, so I wanted to see exactly how much the camera has improved over the S10 Plus. I shot all of this in auto to keep things fair and turned off the scene optimizer. I took about 300 pictures total and looking at them side by side, here are the major differences. Just as expected in the daytime, the images look very similar, but one of the big reasons to upgrade is the zoom. The S20 Plus can zoom up to 30 times, and in the day, it looks legit where the S10 Plus tops off at 10x digital zoom. I posted this on Twitter, and a lot of you were praising how this is a perfect example of a real-world use of the zoom, and I totally agree. I was sitting way up in the suite and having that usable 10x zoom was awesome. The 30x shots are okay too, but nowhere near as usable, but the 10x is for sure legit. Here's a side by side of the ultra wide, the main, the 2x on the S10 Plus and the 3x on the S20 Plus and the 10x hybrid on the S20 Plus, which for sure looks sharper than the S10's 10x digital zoom. And here's that 30x shot just to let you know what it looks like. You can definitely see what's going on, but I will stick to the 10x zoom. The next big feature is the video and the S20 Plus can shoot 8K video, but I wouldn't upgrade just because of that. The 4K video is still great and uses the main sensor, so it has better autofocus. At first glance, I wouldn't blame you if you like the S10 Plus 4K video better because it has more contrast and has a cooler white balance. But if you look a little further and look at the skin tones, they're much better on the S20 Plus. That magenta or red skin tone is controlled much better. No dramatic changes when switching to the telephoto lens at all. The colors look the same and the exposure, but when switching to the ultra wide, the S20 Plus now all of a sudden gets more contrasty. Not sure what happened there, but if you want to see what that 3x zoom to 2x zoom difference is like, here's a realistic example. I like having that little bit of extra zoom range native, so the S20 Plus is perfect for sporting events. I had a great time at the game, but when I got home, I wanted to make sure that I tested the two a little bit more, and in doing that, it really made me appreciate the Galaxy S10 Plus a lot more. Samsung has done a fantastic job of updating this camera and making the lineup consistent with One UI, so the processing is very similar. First thing that I noticed is the skin balance is so much better with the rear camera and even with the front facing camera. In my previous camera comparisons, I did complain about how Samsung would over brighten the skin. I know it's all personal preference, but I am glad to see Samsung doing something better with more natural colors when it comes to people. Even though the S20 Plus here is brighter, it is the best balance of the two and represents the more realistic skin tone and exposure. So I'm definitely happy about this. Second is the improvements in dynamic range. While it's not a huge leap, there are some scenarios where HDR processing shows improvement with better balance in highlights and shadow details without clipping. But don't get me wrong, it does go back and forth where the S10 Plus sometimes just looks better, which is weird, but generally you will see an improvement in the HDR processing. Third is the natural depth of field. You'll see better bokeh or background separation without any special modes. In some shots, it's subtle and the difference isn't huge, and some like this flower shot, you can really tell, so I welcome this improvement. The only downside is that I think the S10 Plus is sharper on most macro shots. Look at the squirrel here, it's just much sharper on the S10 Plus. Same with the close-up of this fake turtle, it's sharper with the details, but to be honest, I'd rather have that amazing background separation and add a little bit of sharpness when I edit the photo, but let me know what you think. This picture I think shows a great example. The rope is so much sharper on the S10 Plus. I wouldn't keep going on about this if there weren't more instances where the S20 Plus just ends up being softer, especially if the shot is a little bit more complicated. And I'm sure that this can be tuned in future software updates, but there's no denying that the S10 Plus keeps more of the water in focus and is sharper overall. So props to the S10 Plus on this. But this wouldn't be a camera comparison if it doesn't go back and forth. Look at the S20 Plus here. It's just so much sharper and just better overall. 
There is a time of flight sensor on the S20 Plus, but in my testing, I didn't see a huge difference, but here's one part where it actually made a difference. Look at the water, the S20 Plus was able to cut this out while the S10 missed it and just blurred it. The S20 Plus looks sharper here as well, but I really wouldn't worry about the time of flight sensor because in this instance, the S20 Plus just failed where the S10 Plus did better, and I took that shot multiple times to make sure it wasn't user error. The last thing during the day I need to talk about is the 64 megapixel secondary camera that's in the S20 Plus, and during the day, I really like it. When you look at them side by side, it really doesn't look that different, but when you start cropping in, you can really see the detail difference here. So if you like to reframe or recrop a lot, then the S20 Plus is definitely for you. So overall, there are some notable improvements in the S20 Plus for sure during the day, but the S10 Plus keeps up extremely well, and the processing sometimes even produces a better shot than the S20 Plus while remaining sharper. So let me know what you guys think. Is this enough, or are you sticking with the S10 Plus? So let's move on to the low light, what everyone really wants to know about. And I have to admit, when I first started editing this, I thought, Man, is the S10 Plus really doing better than the S20 Plus? But after looking at more of these images, the biggest flaw in the S20 Plus is the metering. The S10 Plus has more aggressive metering where the brighter areas are better controlled and the sky is processed as pure black. So I can see some of you really liking this better and I don't blame you. But in the end, the S20 Plus is capturing more information. It just needs some software updates to better balance that dynamic range in certain situations. For instance, here on this boat, if you bring down the exposure slightly on the S20 Plus, you can get that image to look super clean. But this is an auto test, so the S10 Plus wins in this aspect. I'm not gonna lie, I was worried, but that is basically where it ends because the larger microns in the new sensor really make a difference in almost all of the shots. The shots are generally brighter with better dynamic range, better white balance, and most notably, it's much sharper and has less noise. Cropping in, just look at the detail on the trees and look at the noise reduction all around. It's much better on the S20+. Plus. When I was looking at them on their displays, it didn't look that much different, but when I started editing these on the computer, the differences were very apparent. The S10 Plus isn't doing bad at all, but when looking at them side by side, this is the reason to upgrade because of the better low light performance. In night mode though, the S10 Plus does a much better job with detail and better dynamic range, so it competes much better with the S20 Plus, but I still think in night mode that the S20 Plus has better detail and richer color. The S20 Plus does slightly over sharpen though, so I would like to see that toned down, but it's impressive what the night mode can do. The 4K video in moderate low light, they both look very similar. The colors and the sharpness do look to be very comparable here in this situation, but as the lighting gets worse, like here in this firework scenario, the noise is pretty terrible on the S10 Plus. You can really see it. The results from the bigger microns on the S20 Plus really shows here with superior noise reduction. And even though there still is noise, don't get me wrong, the improvement is there. Just look at the smoke, the S10 Plus is falling apart. So if you shoot a lot of low light video, then the S20 Plus seems like a no brainer upgrade. The zoom works the same like it does during the day. Surprisingly, the 10X digital zoom on the S10 Plus keeps up well, but that's about it. Low light besides the metering on the neon lights and the harsher lights, the S20 Plus is a better camera in almost every way. The daytime differences aren't as major as the low light, but there are improvements here if you're wondering if you should upgrade or not. Let's say this though, the S10 Plus is still impressive and is still a great camera, but if you wanna justify an upgrade, here are all the improvements that you needed to see to make an informed buying decision. Thank you for watching this. Let me know if you're upgrading or if you've already upgraded or if you're keeping your S10 Plus another year. I hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for a lot more content just like this, and I will see you in the next one.